How you like that color? This is like my favorite color right now. Of course, you have to file, make sure your cuticles are clean, buff a little bit. But you always want to use a base coat and the purple. I love this. See, the purpose of using a base coat on your nails is so the, the, the actual nail polish doesn't stain your natural nails. And then after you put two coats of your, you know, regular polish, then you use a top coat. And this is non-yellowing top coat. You know, sometimes your nails can get kind of yellow looking. So gross. But this helps to kind of just set the polish so it doesn't come off. Gives it a nice, clean, thin and shine. So that's what you're going to see next. So right now this is the base coat and the base coat it really dries really fast so right after you do the second hand you're ready to put the, the finger the actual nail polish on top of the base and then too in order to have a really fresh look with your nail polish don't use old nail polish once it starts getting old and lumpy just get rid of it I mean you can put like a nail thinner in it they have what it's called a nail thinner which kind of thins it out but once it's old, it's old. I just usually just get a whole new polish. Oh, another thing too, don't shake the polish like this. You know people just shake it like that. You're supposed to shake it like this. Because it creates like bubbles or something when you shake it fast. So you have to you want to go like this when you shake it up your polish. Make sure it's an even distribution. Isn't this color beautiful? Like what? But even you can see, you see how it's still, it's not shiny. It's just a matte type of finish. That's why when we put the top coat over, it's gonna really just make it pop. All right. Now the hardest part, if you're right-handed, the hardest part is trying to put the polish on with your left. So you really have to be careful. This is like the hardest part to me. So make sure you have to be. And I always put two coats of this, but make sure you don't do it too heavy. You want to do light coats. You don't want the coats too thick. So even if you miss a little spot, don't worry about it. That second coat is going to just even it all out. So don't worry about it. Ah, I love it. Never no more, never will I suck it. Never no more. Why? And I'm gonna do my taco. I keep trying to. Never open it with your teeth either. You make your teeth really brittle. You always start with the pinky all the way to the, the thumb is last. That's just what they taught us in beauty school. Oh, but guess what? Let's say you're ready to go out to the club, right? Um, and you don't have time to do your nails. The best thing you can do is leave press. You know they still got those press on nails? You can do press on nails. You can get those at Rite Aid or any type of beauty supply. Which is so cool. And they really look, I mean, they even have the French manicure kind of kind of with designs. I mean, they really stepped their press on nail game up for real. The, what people always look at, the first thing they look at is your teeth and your nails. What else? Your teeth, your nails. And your titties. You know what? That's it. Cut. <laughs> and you know, I look at, I always look at the shoes. That's a girl thing, I think, huh? We always look at the first thing we meet a guy, the first thing we look at is their shoes. Like, if their shoes are raggedy, you like, oh, I don't think so. Or if they got on some uh, lugs, I'll be like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Don't do lugs. I seen this guy had on some dang on sandals with some black socks. I just, it threw me for a loop. I was like, no. I'm 
pack. So now I gotta let them dry and then that's a wrap.